But we begin with somber news from Washington. The nation and the world continues to respond tonight to the news of Senator John McCain's death, a bomber pilot, prisoner of war, and longtime leader in the Senate. McCain was loved and respected by many on both sides of the political spectrum, and we take this time to remember him tonight as an American hero. Jay Gray has our story. Tonight, for the last time, John McCain left his beloved Hidden Valley Ranch in the Arizona desert. He was one of a kind, uh, determined, courageous, tough. Surrounded by his family, the 81-year-old died just a day after announcing he would end all medical treatment for brain cancer. His wife saying her heart is broken, writing, he passed the way he lived, on his own terms, surrounded by the people he loved, in the place he loved best. McCain served his country for six decades as a Navy bomber pilot, prisoner of war, a member of Congress, then a six-term leader in the Senate. John McCain is an American hero, and those of us who've been fortunate enough to know him and work with him feel blessed. News of his passing was met with emotion and respect from political friends and foes. Former President George W. Bush calling him a man of deep conviction and patriot of the highest order. Former President Barack Obama saying all of us can aspire to the courage to put the greater good above our own. At John's best, he showed us what that means, and for that, we are all in his debt. President Trump ordered the flag at the White House lowered to half-staff while sending his deepest sympathies and respect to his family. John McCain was one of the greatest men I have met. You don't meet too many great men. He was one of them. John McCain's difficult battle with cancer over now, though many say his legacy as an American hero will live forever. Jay Gray, NBC News, Sedona. Senator McCain will lie in state in Washington before being buried on the grounds of the U.S. Naval Academy.